Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sit down. You're out of you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey, sit down. I don't play this stuff. The next shooting is right now, and you are doing nothing. No, you need to get his out of here. This isn't the place to talk this over. This is totally predictable. When you, sir, you're out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Please leave this auditorium. I can't believe you're a sick <laughs> would come to a deal like this to make a political issue. <laughs> it's only <laughs> like you. Why don't you get out of here? As we're listening to the lieutenant governor speak, uh, following a very heated exchange between Governor Abbott and former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke, he has left the auditorium. He was asked to leave the auditorium by the governor, and he's now speaking to cameras now, so let's take a listen. Greg Abbott in the state of Texas is the county jail system in the state of Texas. The largest inpatient mental health care facility in the state of Texas is the Harris County Jail in downtown Houston, Texas. He's refused to expand Medicaid, which would bring $10 billion a year, including mental health care access for people who need it. He's refused. To, to champion red flag laws. When somebody says that they are having trouble, that they may kill somebody, they may kill themselves, a red flag law would protect the public. He's Anna, refused, he's refused, he's refused, he's refused, he's refused to support safe storage laws so young people cannot get their hands on their parents' what guns. You see he's, he's refused, he's refused to support, he's refused to support a ban on AR-15s and ak cool hold it for you. This 18-year-old like, who just turned 18 bought an AR-15 and took it into me. an elementary school right and us. shot kids in the face and killed them. Why are we letting this happen in this country? Why is this happening in this state? Year after year, city after city, this is on all of us if we do not do something, and I am going to do something, and I'm not alone. The people of Texas are with us. The majority of the people of Texas are with us, but we've got to stand up to this or we just accept this theater and business as usual, and we accept the next shooting. We could have stopped this if we had stood up after Santa Fe High School, if we had stood up after El Paso. We are going to stop the next one. We're standing up right Sorry. here okay. in Uvalde, Texas, right now. That's why I'm here. That's what the people of Texas want right now. That's what we're going to focus on. Beto, there, are more, done, there are more guns here than almost anywhere else. Beto, what are you going to do about the guns in this state? Beto, what about the guns in this state? What makes this one different? Why is this different? Todo que es posible para prevenir estas masacres que tenemos en cada comunidad, Sutherland Springs, Santa Fe High School, en el condado acerca de Harris, en El Paso también, tenemos el poder. There are two former congressmen si no and current algo, candidate for governor, Beto O'Rourke. He was asked to leave the auditorium uh, after uh, impassionately uh, speaking uh, out and speaking uh, up uh, after uh, hearing uh, Governor uh, Abbott uh, talk uh, about no, no this horrific uh, mass shooting uh, where 19 uh, children uh, were killed. Two other adults also killed, one of them a teacher. So passions are high. He has left the auditorium speaking to reporters there about what's wrong and what he'd like to fix if he became governor. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.